Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your BIOS. So let's get started. First, you need to know your motherboard information like its name and model number. You can do that inside of Windows by searching for MS Info, System Information. From here, you will find baseboard product P450M S2H from Gigabyte. This is my motherboard. You can know it by also checking the package of your motherboard. Open your browser and search using the same name P450MS2H Let's search Gigabyte P450MS2H Select the correct version because there is version 1 and version 2 of the same motherboard So let's select this one This is mine And from here Go to support And this is for Gigabyte motherboard So for example if you have F MSI P450 M Pro VDH Max. Let's select this for example. You go to MSI and go to support and you will find inside here drivers by. But for now I have this one B450. So it's the same thing. You can also do the same for Intel. So what we have here is drivers chipset LAN. What we want is BIOS. Go up again. Now you can see a multiple versions of BIOS. The first version was F1, F2 and the latest version is F67i This is the latest version that we need to download But be careful because some cases like for example here it says If you are on an older BIOS older than F41 It says here before updating to this new version You must follow steps detailed in under BIOS F40 So for example here on F40 make sure you have updated BIOS to F32 before F40 So make sure to follow these instructions but for now let's see what BIOS version that we are on and, and what BIOS version that we want to download so go back to MS config and from here let's find our BIOS here you see BIOS version date you can search from here BIOS version date F67i because I have recently updated my BIOS so I'm going to download it but before this one before this one I was on F50 and right now I am on the latest BIOS Let's download the latest one. I was on this F50 before. I wanted to download the latest version. So why did I need to update my BIOS? When I first bought this PC, it was the same motherboard, but I had a different CPU. Right now, I have the CPU Ryzen 5 3600. Before this, I had AMD Ryzen 3 3200G, which is a different processor. And I had the same RAM kit and XMB was working fine without any problems. But when I upgraded my CPU, the CPU was working fine, but the XMB profile didn't want to work. When I enable it, my motherboard and my PC won't work. And I needed to reset CMOS to reset my BIOS settings. And the PC won't run with XMB enabled. I've searched for so long and I didn't find any solution until I found that I could upgrade BIOS and it could fix it. So I did upgrade my BIOS and it's now fixed and my BIOS is working without any problems. XMB profile is working without any issues. So let's get back. Let's download this. Download BIOS. Here is our BIOS. So after you download this BIOS file, now let's extract this extract now we have this file this is our bios file the new bios we need to copy this into a usb drive so we can use it inside of our motherboard settings so right now i have added a usb stick copy let's get back to it here it is usb drive you might need to format it and you might not need to i tried it without formatting and it worked fine it showed in the bios if it didn't show you will need to format your usb drive you will need to format it using fat32 for me i tried it and i just pasted it here here it is paste you can find it here skip this file okay now here is our bios file now what we need to do is to restart rbc to get into bios so we can update it so I'm going to stop recording right now and I'm going to switch to recording with my phone. So everyone, now I'm back. So we need to restart our PC. Now once your PC turns back on, keep hitting delete on your keyboard like this. Now it will get you into BIOS. Now from down here, you see down here, you find Q flash this Q flash or you can just press F8 on your keyboard 
from here as you can see it says update bios from here you see here is our usb stick and inside here here is the bios file b 450 m s2h f67i here is the file this is the current version i'm not going to update it but i'm going to show you how and before updating my bios it showed me an option before this it showed me an option to save file to save bios so this is my old bios that you see here that is called old BIOS. this was the older version and i copied it and saved it right now it doesn't show it to me i don't know why but let's continue right now it says verifying files right now if i click press to start it's going to update bios i am on the same version here it says it says here bios version f67 so i don't need to update it but what you need to do right now is just click press to start i don't want to update it so i'm going to go back once you click press to start it will take less than five minutes so right now i am back on bios once you click update to start it's going to take less than five minutes to update your bios but make sure not to unplug your PC or your electricity goes off because if that happens it will break your motherboard so make sure you have a stable electricity and stable connection without any issues and also before updating your BIOS make sure to copy your old BIOS to save it because if you face any issues you need to go back to your older BIOS version that was stable so make sure to make a copy of it and as you can see here if I go back here advanced memory settings right now my xmb profile is working fine without any issues so everyone that's it for today's video i hope you found this helpful thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time